I wanted to make another video showing some potential uses for using Equatio as a math teacher. For a long time now, the only thing I use Word for is to type my math test because it's easier there. But in this video, I want to show you how you can take a math test that you've already typed in Word and easily convert it into a Google Doc using Equatio to make the math equations editable so you can revise it because of course you don't want to give the same exact test from year to year. It's easier to start with something as a base and then to edit and refine from it. So what I'm doing is I took my test from Word and I'm just uploading it to my Google Drive. Once it's in Google Drive, I'll just right click, open with Google Docs. From here, you'll see that it imports pretty well, but all the equations from Word are simply images, so I can't really edit any of these things. However, when you use Equatio, open it up. Still, if you click on it, edit math, it's not gonna recognize it as an equation right now, it's an image, but there's this little snapshot reader. So if you use that and just highlight your equation, five minus two X, then it has a player so that it can read to the students. But if you click here, you can just edit with Equatio. And I don't know, for some reason that didn't pick up the whole thing, but usually it does. I can just edit it right here. And sometimes it's easier to just go back and forth into um, latex if you're comfortable with it, which honestly, I don't even know that much, but I just figure it out as I go. So it's very friendly to switch back and forth between the two modes or even go into handwriting mode, especially if you have a tablet or something like that. You can see how well that works and then you can edit it by hand. Insert math. And then I can just uh, paste it right in here, make it a little bit smaller, and boom, that's it. So now it is an editable equation, and I can do the same thing for all the equations that I have. Same thing goes if I open up my textbook. Here's just the textbook that I use in AP Calculus, and then if I open up Equatio and I use this screenshot reader, and I just highlight one of the questions, Limit over x, y, arrow, negatives. What I can do is do the more options and then copy in latex and then go back over to my Google Doc and then just type in the latex editor right here, paste in the equation, and then I can just insert the math. And boom, it inserts it just like that. And for me, I like the limit. I like the x approaches, negative 6 to be underneath, so you can always clean up the latex a little bit. So if you just take that out, just make it the limit, and then insert the math again, boom. Now it's how I like it, and then I can resize it a bit to make it fit in well with the rest of the text that I have. And a good hint here to align things a little bit better is to just ask your question right here. So you can just do backwards slash, and then you can start typing normal text, insert math, and sometimes the formatting is a bit easier when you do it that way than when you try and type in like evaluate. It can be a little bit difficult to make it all line up properly. So sometimes just typing in the text works better there. So those are just some ways that you can really take advantage of this screenshot reader, either on a converted um, Word document into a Google Doc or straight up from a PDF or textbook so that you can make writing any math activity much easier for yourself. Hope that helps.